Hey guys, Brood here, bringing you episode 4 of Brood Plays. And today I'll be going over my gameplay from Attack of the Zombie Horde, which can be purchased with 80 Microsoft points at the Xbox Live Marketplace. I actually did purchase the full game, I had some extra points, and I thought the game was pretty cool, and I was uh, doing a trial. Um, there are multiple modes for you to play in this game. There is a survival mode. Uh, there's the campaign mode, and there is a mode that you can challenge your friends. So, let's go over the campaign mode first. Uh, the storyline of the campaign mode is uh, set up like a comic book strip, which I think is pretty cool. Um, like almost every other zombie game, you are a member of an elite response team. And you are sent out uh, to a snowy forest area uh, because there was an, uh, an incident at a pharmaceutical company's manufacturing plant and of course you are there to cover it up and destroy multiple zombies. Uh, campaign mode uh, throws at you multiple large waves of zombies as you're trying to escape. Uh, there are multiple different guns you can have uh, that you have to purchase. There's handguns, uh, LMGs, a chain gun, explosives, sniper rifles. So there are multiple guns that you can use throughout this game, um, which is pretty cool. It doesn't just leave you with like a handgun or an assault rifle. There are multiple different guns. Uh, there are multiple levels. Uh, like I said, I purchased this and I played it for a couple hours. Um, and I really enjoy the campaign mode, I think. It, it does have things that can be improved on, but it also has a lot of cool different things. Uh, the only thing that I do not like about uh, the game itself is that there's no ammo display. It doesn't tell you that you need to reload. It doesn't tell you that you're running low. You just end up running out of bullets, and then you have to reload, which I don't like because you can't prepare for it. You can't get away from the zombies um, to reload. It's just, you'll just be firing and then it's gone. So that's one thing I don't like about it. But that's probably the only thing I don't like about this game. Uh, I think the replay replayability is is uh, good um, because there, like I said, multiple modes, uh, survival mode and the challenging mode, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so. I uh, give the campaign, I give it a 10. I'm sorry, I give it a 9. Uh, survival mode, these rounds in the survival mode are intense to say the least. I mean, you're dealing with multiple uh, large waves of zombies at one time, and they throw in two bosses at the same time. Like right here in this gameplay you'll see a, a shadow zombie uh, that's uh, trying to destroy you with a tree branch. Um, which is pretty good, which is pretty cool because it's not the same. Okay, you know that there's going to be large waves of zombies, yeah. But you don't know when these two, these two boss zombies are going to come. And the other one is a large behemoth zombie uh, that tries to kill you also. So it does get intense, and these zombies do drop. They drop money. Uh, they drop first aid kits. Uh, they drop mines. They drop sentry guns. They drop in. Uh, they drop stuff for you to call in air support. Uh, to call in a nuke. I did get a nuke, but it unfortunately wasn't in this gameplay. Uh, right here you'll see me die a couple times because I run out of ammo. Like I said, back to the no ammo count. Um, and I get bound up by all these zombies and I'm trying to reload at the same time. So that is the only thing I don't like about this game. I highly recommend uh, you guys at least play the trial, if not download the game. Uh, I, you won't be upset. Uh, so this whole game, this whole game, I give it a nine, um, and basically just because of that ammo thing. I like I said, uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and a comment, and stay tuned for more brute play episodes.